Hey guys, thanks for checking out Mayfield Family Farm. Just wanted to give you an update on our rabbit dome. It is finally complete. Uh, just have a couple little things to uh, finish up, but it won't be a, uh, time consuming at all. But I just want to give you guys uh, a heads up to let you know how simple it was. It was definitely a lot of time, there's a lot of steps involved. But using the geodesic dome, it's much easier as far as labor. We're not having to do a bunch of uh, post hole digging and setting 4x4 posts in concrete. Uh, especially in our clay here in the Dallas, Texas area, it's very, very hard. So this system, just sitting on blocks, uh, was much, much more easier. Uh, again, if you know how to use a press, a saw, a drill, and some, you know, tighten some bolts, you got, you can build this really simple. So I'll show you guys around to let you see how it ended up finishing out. So again, you can see the ring around the bottom of the block that the uh, frame sits on. We brought in a. Uh, a couple about a yard and a half maybe two yards of heavy clay to set in here that went on top of the uh, chain link that we put down and then I brought another yard of this dino dirt which is a 50% sand 50% uh, partially composted mulch and it's been a really good uh, top layer for the rabbits and again you just seen here this is some of the grass I was pulling up the other day in our garden um, and around that area uh, rabbits over here are eating their dinner and um, and then right here we have a five gallon bucket that's their water that comes down to uh, three different uh, watering nipples for them. And I'm also in this area with the blocks and stuff setting up a feeding system that will be a gravity feeder just like I have in all of our other systems for our quail and our other uh, animals to where put all the feed in the bucket and then it just feeds down in, uh, into the system for them. And then you'll, you'll see other pictures as we uh, are doing this video but I'll also show you the video here uh, as well of how the nesting boxes is in the community area. So we took these tubs that are used for uh, cows and cattle on ranches where people buy these that are full of protein supplements for their cattle. Have some friends that donated us a bunch of these. So we cut someone in half, put them in here, and then put a log here in the front. That way as the rabbits dig, uh, push out the dirt, it won't be pushed out past that log. Um, and then we buried them here. And the reason we buried them was just for uh, keeping them cool during the summer and warm during the winter. Uh, as you'll see in the upcoming future here, we're gonna be planting um, a garden out here, an agriscape garden to where it's gonna grow edibles, vines up the outside of the dome. So that's gonna provide shade during the summer. And then of course, a lot of those uh, will lose their leaves in the winter to uh, let the sun in here to keep it warm. And then, uh, this plywood roof here just on some hinges as you can see the three hinges here and uh, these lift up For the uh, nesting boxes in here. So there's one nesting box with its entrance Another one on that side and this system is mirrored over here. I won't lift that up. Uh, it's the same thing and then we also have the two uh, Half buckets over here with some logs in the front so they can go in there and uh either play or sleep, whatever they want. And so, so far the systems worked really well. We went four foot sections of half inch by half inch wire. So this is the four inch section and then the next four, or I'm sorry, four foot sections. And then from here above, we actually have no wiring. It's just this tarp. So we're gonna see how this performs. Um, if, you know, so if we get tears and have some issues, we will just run some chicken wire over the top as well. Um, but this is fairly sturdy. It's going to be snake proof. Uh, any snakes that can fit through the half inch cage wire will not be big enough to harm any of the rabbit babies. And that was our big issue. And uh, so everything's wired pretty tight. Uh, we use the gravity, uh, just a block here up to a hinge and then uh, it comes across here. So that way as we shut, as we open the door when we come in, this the weight will automatically shut the door so if we forget to shut it behind us, the other problem we had is when we were in here on heavy windy days, the wind would actually uh, blow the door open behind us. Uh, we did put a latch on here, but also having the weight just makes it a little bit foolproof and biggest issue, kid proof. Um, so we'll give you guys updates as things go and uh, hopefully the next week or two we'll uh, breed these ladies to see how well they will breed during the heat. Our uh, bucks may be infertile just due to the heat but we'll try it out. So maybe in a month, month and a half, we might have some babies. And uh, if they don't take, then we'll just wait another month till it cools down to start that program. I'll go out and show you the outside. So 
again none of this is finished this is all just to get them water temporarily so this will all be redone um, eventually we'll have some seats out here a few places around for seating to watch the rabbits uh, we've also had some conversation about having the outside seats out here be nesting boxes so the rabbits would have basically a tunnel from inside here that would tunnel underground and into a seat a bench out here so that way we could access the baby rabbits out here uh, so that could be something we'll uh, do in the future but as of right now um, we just went with the inside nesting boxes and again if you see the dead grass area all in this area and it goes around again so we're coming out right here and we're going to do a garden bed all the way around and then a path that comes around this and that's where all of the uh we'll have some hedges that will go up about a foot or two and then a lot of vines that will be going up this we're probably going to do malabar spinach and hardy kiwi which are both uh edible and uh, are great to eat and uh, we'll give you guys an update at that time so again, guys, just want to say thank you for checking out our Rabbit Dome. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything, definitely ask us on Facebook or leave them on the YouTube page, and we'll get back to you guys and let you know, uh, answer those questions for you. So again, thanks for checking us out. Have a great day.